Hello, beautiful collective. I hope everybody is fabulous. We're going to get some messages for you. Um, let's see what Zodiac sign needs a message. Duke is the star of the show. He says hi. I just posted a cancer video, so let's see who next needs a message. Sagittarius, number eight, with the sun. Sun, Leo, Sunday, the self, personality, ego, and confidence. Okay, let's get that out of the way. All right, <clears throat> we're going to start out with, we're going to start out with the tea leaf. Then I might get the literary witch oracle I haven't pulled from that in a hot minute. I like to rotate my decks when I use them. Okay, let's get a candle going for Murmur. I usually work with Murmur when I am, um, well, this is a par. When I am reading, doing divination, any type of necromancy work, him and Murmur and... Gap I work with, Boone, Baliel, Master Leonard, Fur Fur. I have a lot of different um, spirits that I like to work with. But specifically Murmur and Master Leonard when I am divination, uh, when I am channeling. All right, we have Vine. Seek out information that will help you. We have Career. Okay, your top priori priority or focus right now could be on your career. And we have chain, a chain of events that will affect your life. If you are into magic or spells, I do offer 20 oils up and going that I sell that you can use in your spell work, on your craft, and on your skin. So think about checking out my uh, Etsy page. Same name is on here, all one word, Firefox Fairy, or the link is in my bio, as well as my email, cash app, and Venmo card, all the information you need to get a hold of me. All right, we have leg stepping into a new experience with flowers, happiness. Very nice. Candle, you will be shown the way. So something may be promising here. Uh, we have thrown position of authority. It's in reverse. That's what you may be working on. So seek out some information. Mice, discord among family or friends. We have the month of February. We have money path. A path with money is waiting for you to find it. We have door. Opportunities are waiting for you. The bottom, we have stork. News of a birth or a new business opportunity. And we have fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. We have the month of April coming out. Taurus energy and man. Uh, no, not Taurus. Aries energy. We have man. Dealings or relationship with a man. You could be the masculine that's watching. Always take what applies and resonates and leave the rest. We have Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. We have Boat, money or property. Yeah, money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. I don't know if I read that already. Month of March, Pisces energy. And Vulture, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. We have older man, dealings or relationship with an older man. Sounds a lot like the cancer video I just posted. And dog barking, advice from a friend. We have pineapple, reconciliation. So this is going to be a reading for Sagittarius. Eights are infinity numbers. Happy birthday, too, to my Sagittariuses. We are in that season right now. Pineapple, reconciliation. Egg, success assured with good plans and hard work with the month of June. Um, June. I think that's Gemini energy. We have casket. Someone is going out of your life or the end of a situation. We have wreath. Sorrow over a loss is at the bottom. All right, let's get from the Kipper deck. And we're going to just see what else you need to know or be aware of at this time. I got a couple cards in there. I don't know how that happened. All right, thank you, angels and spirit guides. Oh, somebody's name could be June or Cassidy. Getting a, a, a feminine. So 
something about brilliant brilliancy and a boardwalk maybe walking a boardwalk traveling a vacation a getaway right, what's coming in place for sagittarius's what do they need to know for their highest good strongest messages please pulling through for my sagittarius collective Yeah, I'm hearing you want to you want to make or take a take a daring adventure. What about a daring adventure? We have despair, thirty-two. Maybe you want to get out of despair, get out of the funk. We have eleven sudden wealth, and we have twenty-eight expectation. Something about high high honor. This could be you. Like I said, throne position of authority. You're trying to. Maybe when the um, when the likes of people over for you, we have distant horizons thirty six. Yeah, traveling like I was saying, maybe a vacation, and we have a house number twenty. Something to do with a home, a house. Maybe you're purchasing your first home, buying a first, you know, buying a house. We have great uh, fortune coming in twenty six. I almost said great wealth, <laughs> great fortune. An official person, 22. Yeah, pathways opening up. All right, let's get into, let's see. Let's get into the Halloween Oracle. Let's see what spirit, where this reading is gonna go. Let's get the overall energy for it. Eternal love, love is love is love and transcends physical death. And we have Skull of Stars, Infinite Possibilities. So this may as well could be a love reading for you guys. Very likely. Cardinal, I've seen the red cardinal. You could have someone in spirit that is has crossed over and is with you now, watching you, protecting you. Maybe even trying to communicate with you. Warn you of something, keep you safe. Make sure you're not, um, you know, with the wrong people, the wrong crowd. Doing things you're not supposed to be doing. That's coming in, please, for Sagittarius's. Now, if you're the cross watcher, um, or you just feel like being a Sagittarius, you may also find that you have messages here for you. So that's fine. Like always, I like to say, if it resonates, um, feel free to share your story. You can either hit the like button or leave a comment how it resonates for you. I'd love to know. First card out, the witch, the earthy weaver of the worlds. And that was in reverse. So somebody using their power for the wrong things, for corruption. We'll find out. Let's see. For Sagittarius. Is maybe someone's accusing you of being a witch. I, I don't know. We have werewolf exploring wildness. If they ain't on the team, then it's none of the, you know, it's nobody's business or concern what you're doing in your personal life. I don't know. We have spider community and web weaving. All right. Again, putting the pieces together here for a, you know, a jump start. We're finalizing something, setting things in stone. We have forgiveness, reducing burden. And we have joy, rejoicing in the present. Very pretty cards. The bottom, we have ancestors, the love and legacy of our DNA. Let's get one more for you guys. One more card. Invisibility with authenticity. Very nice. So Spirit just wants you to be 100 with yourself, be authentic in everything you do. We have Owl at the bottom, wise seeing, wise action. So you do have eyes on you at this time. You could be, I just heard monitoring spirits, but you could be being watched, like I said, by your ancestors, by spirit. We have Barmbrack at the bottom, sweetness and synergy with midnight, the most magical hour of all. And it looks like a loaf of like pumpkin bread or something. All right. I am going to pull from the Shapeshifters and Shadow of the Light Oracle and my Oracle deck for you guys. I'm being pulled to the Vampire, the Less Vampire. 
that death will come mortal, finite, and fragile with free will, sovereignty, independence, and free spirit. Other messages, please, for collective, for Sagittarius. Ooh, I, feel, I get the feeling some of you guys are wondering if um, the flame is still burning bright from the, to the person that you like. You're wondering if they still have feelings for you. My candle's going like crazy, so that's like a message in itself. Yes, this person does still have very strong feelings for you. All right, we have the monster within number 25. Internal struggle, personal challenges, wanting to improve. Also sounds a lot like Cancer's uh, reading. I just did. Okay, show me more. Her last day in the light, number 10. Unexpected endings, surprise changes, and sudden shifts. And creator, number nine, catalyst, maker, mother, and father. You could be creating something. All right, redemptions at the bottom. Absolution, forgiveness, and penance, number 20. And the hunter, aggressor, tracker, provider, 32. With seduction, allure, desire, manipulation, number eight. Wish that was on the dice. Something about your religion, canon, rules, commandments. Oh, I just heard somebody's name could be Molly. <sighs> My phone's on 20%. Great. So this is going to have to be a short, um, short little message for you guys. Somebody's name could be Molly. Good boy, Dookie. Good boy, Dookie. <laughs> napping. soon I will show you whom to trust. I do have some Kitsune oil on my website. We have 35 Storm Angel, collision of beliefs, styles, attitudes, or energies with strangely lonely, holding on way too tight, number 17. Or somebody's hanging on to you. We have 13. I am Kali from Death Comes Rebirth. Wow. So you really are trying to finalize something or capture capture a moment before you step into a new experience, you know, like sudden glances back at the past. We have Nautilus Princess 41, powerful personal growth. With Elizabeth and the Lion, number 20. It's time to become a great leader. Show me what you're working with, Saggy. And then we got Fairy of the Divine Hand, Intoxication, Distorted View, Overindulgence, number two. Oh boy. And we have Butterflies and Gloom, so two, two, two. I'll read that from the Angel Number book. After Sadness, Happiness, and Hope Return. We have Witch at the End of the World, 45, an important end, a new beginning for you guys coming on in. I'm hearing you're being going to be blessed with solitude. I like blasted with solitude and bliss. Like inner peace, harmony, tranquility. All right, let's get the Citadel. Another deck I haven't used in that one. The Fate, accepting help, guidance at the bottom. And also there's scissors, so it's like snipping, snipping something. Maybe someone could also do hair. Fashionistas, uh, runway, models, makeup, all that sort of thing. Photo shoots, something like that. Living an exciting lifestyle. Maybe that involves a lot of travel. 
All right, we have the warrior, perfectionism and burnt out. The alchemist, balance, invention, and destruction with the hound. Loyalty, chains, and promises. Does someone break a promise? We have the wise one. It was in reverse, tradition and order. So maybe there's not order in something, and this is where you need to come in and take, you know, step up and take the lead here with something, maybe your job. We have the painter, productivity, and creation. Again, about talking about creation. Look at that beautiful card, the red with the roses. It's pretty. So show me one more, please, for Sagittarius's. Maybe you guys are going through some type of like physical transformation, getting a new haircut or a new wardrobe, a new look, a new job for the new year. You know, you never know. Okay, we have the astronomer, discovery and augury with the champion, achievement and downfall. Wow. The page, Patron is at the bottom, mentorship and finances. With the forgotten, missed opportunities, fear of failure, and the archer. Okay, Sagi, energy strong. Bite, biding your time, planning ahead. Maybe you need to plan ahead. showing me this deck so this is the beautiful creatures tarot and we will clarify my phone doesn't die we're gonna do the three three and three format with the one card for the overall energy because these are bigger cards i want to simplify it plus my phone so all right so what is um Sadhu's energy Three cards, please. First, Johnny Sagittarius' energy, what's coming in. Strongest message is pouring through. I'm hearing a um, ticking clock and don't look back. The habit, 15, with dependency, that's the devil energy. So it's only a matter of time, maybe for um, something frees up in your life or you become free. Could literally be like a, a bad habit, a talk, you know, like a toxin, a toxic thing or an addiction. We have the paranormal with curiosity. This is a bonus card in this deck. Maybe you're attracting negative energies because I know there is demons for different kinds of drugs and alcohol. There's an alcohol demon. We have Ten of Cups, Contentment, and the Lovers with Ultimatum, number six. So maybe this person, if this is the case for you, this person um, may feel like, or may feel drawn back, um, like pull back from you because they, you know, whatever it is that you're having a hard time struggling with, maybe it's like a turnoff for this person, whatever the case may be, um, that may be their energy coming through. I don't know why, but I did kind of get that vibe. Or this is you. Maybe this is your person's circumstance. I had something under my table mat. I was like, what the fuck? Or one of my witch's runes. All right, so anyway, there's a choice here. It could be, have to do with love. It could have to do with anything. Let's get um, your person's energy. We'll get three cards for them. You did have a bonus card there. I'll read this, the paranormal card out of the book. We have King of Cups, Cancer, Scorp Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, Scorpio, Strong, King of Cups, Nine of Pentacles with Rewards, the King of Cups is Fascination, that's what the card says, it's cute, I got three placements, Scorpio on my chart, I got Reward, Nine of Pentacles, it's pretty, and the Butterfly. And we have temperance, moderation. This is your energy. Sagittarius energy. Balance. 
And we'll get one for the overall because I don't have any more room for any more cards. We'll get one card for the overall energy, please. Four of Wands with Unity. Two of Cups at the bottom relationship. Yeah, so how did I figure this was would be a love reading? All right. <clears throat> Let's read what this paranormal card says. It says, I've learned the hard way that there are some things that should remain a mystery and should be left alone. So keyword curiosity, the upright meaning means this card represents the dire need to figure something out. Things are a mystery to you and you may not be able to solve it. There is a calling from the unknown that summons your attention. Follow it and see where what you discover. A bit of skepticism clouds your beliefs and you feel that you must prove something right or wrong. Either or, don't step on anyone's personal beliefs. Okay. There's more to it, but we're not gonna have time to get into all that. So that's pretty much what that card means. Let's clarify. We're going to use um, this deck. I actually want to match. I don't know why I'm being called to the color purple. I know these cards are purple. Maybe that's why. Oh, well, we'll just go with it. All right, why is um, the habit here, the devil, for Sagittarius's first card out? Why is the devil card here? Three of Cups, the Moon, and the Three of Pentacles. Oh, you, it's in reverse. So you may be having a hard time deciding who or what it is that you want to invest in. You're saying, I'm happy with where I'm at right now. All my hard work is paying off. Look at that. We have the Ten of Wands at the bottom with the bear. And I was going to say I had a dream of a bear last night. And the Ace of Swords, that is the truth. Um, but something is with the Moon and the Three of Cups in Reverse. Three of Cups in Reverse could mean infidelity or just um, it could mean cheating. But if you're not with anyone, then how can you be cheating? You know what I mean? So I don't know, I just get the feeling that you want to maybe keep your options open at this time and see who is going to be the best fit for you. All right, why is the lover's card here? And that could be why you feel you have an ultimatum to make, a choice. The Ten of Cups, contentment. Yeah, why is the lover's card here? We have Ten of Pentacles, very nice. Okay, so obviously they're going to have to have their ducks in a row and you have some standards that you probably are going to want to set and, and stand by that. Prince of Swords. Okay. And one more. Justice and the King of Cups. All right, you do have a potential um, potential for love to come in. It could be this King of Cups. It could be a Prince of Swords. This person may have a kid because the princes do usually um, indicate younger people. And then we have the Queen of Cups at the bottom. All right, why is the Ten of Cups here? The High Priest is coming out. Dang. Or if you just recently started connecting with somebody... I do feel like there is a very strong um, pull towards each other. A lot of energy. It's like hyped up here. We have the Three of Swords and the Tower with the Two of Swords. So, if, okay, some of you, this is a past person that you're still thinking about with the Three of Swords here. Um, Four of Swords, you're, you're pretty much physically healed from it. I don't see it affecting your Ten of Cups here, your happiness. Um, so I don't know where this Three of Swords is stemming from. Maybe you feel like if you pick this 
past person again you just feel like it's going to end the same way and you're going to get your heart broken with the high priestess showing up two of swords so you really do feel like you have ultimatum to make and you don't want things to go into tower mode all over again so yeah i would just um use your intuition and maybe allow more time to pass to see what the future holds between you guys um and don't don't get caught up in your head about this just keep being in the four of swords energy four of pentacles the magician and the hangman with the wheel of fortune and the lovers okay so yeah get a bit more time to pass for making any rash decisions let's get your person's energy king of cups came out with the nine of pentacles and the intemperance so let's see where this person's at with their emotions for you their intentions you just seeing the king of pentacles could have water or strong earth in their chart we also have another sagittarius energy card out with temperance okay why is the king of cups here for the person that's coming towards collective who is this person and what is their intention? My finger's itching again. Okay. Judgment, Scorpio energy, it's twice now. So either you have strong Scorpio in your chart or they do. Um, or you could be a cusper. Yeah. Good Lord. Let's get one more, please. Four of Swords. and strength leo energy Ooh, this person is taking the back seat right now um as well in regards to love if this is someone you've been with before it's because you've already been together and they maybe can't comprehend what you're feeling or thinking what your next moves are so they're taking it upon themselves to take a to take a closer look and some time to really analyze themselves and ask themselves what it is that they want out of any connections at this time if they want to even be in a connection but i feel like for most of you guys they do because the king of cups is all about love the cup of love what you know offering it to you water cups usually has to do with your emotions why is the nine of pentacles here for them so they could be single right now i don't feel like they're seeing anybody at this time not getting that energy nine of cups and ace of cups okay yeah but they do see you as a wish fulfillment strongly and they would like another chance to be in love with you again to make it work princess of pentacles strong earth again why is temperance here moderation queen of cups So we have the King and Queen of Cups, the Seven of Swords. So somebody could have been sneaky in the past or bit off more than they can chew. And the Five of Cups with the Seven of Wands and Princess of Cups. All right, you or this person may have a kid. I do feel like it is your person, strongly, the Cups. Um, seven of Wands. Five of Cups, all right, this person I don't feel has fully moved on from you and they would defend, if, say like somebody were to bring your name up in a conversation with the Knight of Cups at the bottom, they would defend you. Show me more please with Temperance. Prince of, Prince of Wands, hmm. So two princes came out. Why is the Seven of Swords here for this person? Six of Cups, yeah, they still think about you. They reminisce about you. And if you guys have like old photos or videos of you guys together, they still look at them. Two of Wands and the world. For some of you, they have a fear that this relationship has already ended and ended for good. And that's why they're um, pulling their energy back. They're remaining in the strength. Strength card see the overall energy we're going to clarify the four of wands unity the devil so 
there could have been a lot of um, toxic things that took place in this connection or um, maybe, you know, there was other things involved when you guys were together, Nine of Wands. It maybe started out good and then turned bad as soon as there was things in the picture like drugs or alcohol. And the Seven of Pentacles. Prince or Knight of Wands with Ten of Swords at the bottom. Yeah, so they know there's an ending here. Um, and as far as joining and merging back together, they can sense your um, indecisiveness energy. Let's get some Oracle and see if we can't find out more information on this for you guys. I should have used a different deck. Oh, well. I wanted to kind of keep the colors matching. The purple and purple. Two of Cups at the bottom with the Ace of Cups and the Star. Oh my God, an Ace of Pentacles under that. Hope and fondness with relationship. Let's see what they want to say to you. Eight of Wands. Communication, a message. So let's see what they're uh, still feeling about your collective. Nothing really makes sense without you, I just read. And you'll know if this is a, um, like a karmic soulmate. It will feel like you've known this person for eternity. You just feel very comfortable in their presence. And you may notice you guys picking up on like telepathic communication or feeling each other's energies when you're apart. Indeed, you have been together or you do know this person because you more than likely have been with them in a the past life. That's how you know that this it's a karmic connection. All right, you are my wish fulfillment and I want you only. That's what they're saying, Collective. Very nice. They want you only. They don't want anybody else. Well, that's good news. Water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces could be dealing with. Well, this is you. Have it in your placement chart. We have You're So Beautiful, Inside and Out. I know one day we will find our way back to each other. I wish I would treat you better. My loneliness is killing me when you're not around. Deep down, my intentions with you have always been pure. And I still feel so attracted to you, yeah. Connect to me telepathically through meditation so they want you to, they want to feel you again. They miss you. All right, let's see how my Sagittarius is feeling about this person. How are my Sagis feeling about this person? You're so attractive to me. I want to make you all mine. I can feel your presence even though we are apart. And I can feel that strong bond we share on a soul level. Fire signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Show me more. I feel this insane attraction to you. Okay, we have your smile is making me melt every time I see your face. Please don't feel disappointed with me. 
fire signs. They are Sagittarius and nothing really makes sense without you. At the bottom we have, I am hopeful that we will reunite again. All right, if we have time, if my phone doesn't die, I'm gonna pull one of these um, love decks and we'll wrap up the reading. For Sagittarius's, please. Keep the door open. Don't be so focused on a closed door that you don't see the ones which are open for you. Letting go. If someone leaves you confused more than comforted, you need to reassess their access to you. We have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. And actions speak louder than words. If you want to know what someone is feeling, watch what they are doing. We have make the effort. Love is worth taking risks. You're being called to move forward. With unrequited feelings, take a leap of faith and reconciliation. Someone from your past is or will be returning to your life soon. We have overthinking at the bottom. There is not enough love to keep this relationship going in a healthy way. Unrequited feelings. And only when you're willing to step out of your comfort zone, you will reap great rewards. Take a leap of faith. Pay attention to signs. The synchronicities you have been noticing are not coincidences. Okay, let's get from the hidden truth, uh, hidden truth messages oracle. How is Sagittarius this person feeling about them? We have, I am becoming a better person. We will be together again. Just being near you is intoxicating, and it was my fault, but I blamed you. My life is not as together as it seems. I hid who I really am from you, and I love you. I look for you everywhere. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I hope this helped. Sending love and light. Take care. Stay blessed now. Bye-bye.